Good morning and welcome back to our channel. So this morning we've decided we're going to go to the Banting Food Market at Brooklyn Mall here in Pretoria and we're going to see if we can get some footage together, everything that they sell, we're going to taste some delicious low-carb breads and desserts and maybe buy a few things if they weren't too expensive but let's go enjoy the day together. We are diabetic friendly, we never touch plastic, we only touch glass, so we also ferment in stainless steel 316. Uh, we cold press in house, our teas are 98% kombucha based, and in house we cold press the 2% flavorous. We also have a secret recipe that we keep, you know, internally. <laughs> <Secret. laughs> yeah. it, it's got a little bit of Kalahari mineral elements that we just use to harmonize our kombucha a little bit better. And yo, our six flavor profile is a blood orange plus. Cape Pink Lady Apple and Mint, Cheeky Pineapple, Cape Grape and Winterberry, then we've got Medicinal African Red uh, with Ginger and Lemon, this is our two herbal variants, Yellow Vibes which is Lemon, Ginger and Turmeric. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a taste tester, this is Cape Pink Lady Apple and Mint on a green tea base. We also use a Japanese strain of culture which is predominantly xylenum and ketogenum of, of species okay. and we just find that this strain produces a little bit more of a harmonic kombucha to it. Uh, it 
compared to acid bombs, like okay. a little bit more of a vinegary kombucha. We also find that depending on which size of vessel you're producing, oh, the size of the vessel actually affects the flavor of the tea profile. If you use a smaller vessel, it actually becomes a little bit more acidic, a little bit more pungent. The bigger you go, the more tarty kombucha you get, and the acidity is actually not so uh, not so low in the pH spectrum. So okay. we're somewhere in the middle. Okay. We're only producing modular 200 liters pharmaceutical oh, stainless steel 316. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cheeky pineapple. It's a green tea with the Natal pineapple, cold press, two percent and ninety-eight percent kombucha base. The ones come up now. <laughs> Ooh, I like that one. Winter berry, also a green tea, awesome. with the Cape grape and winter berry. During our research and development, we found that stainless steel 304 actually rust blotch after a few batches. Okay. So due to the stainless steel being an alloy, uh, it starts rust, rust blotch, blotching on the inside and stainless steel 316 or pharmaceutical grade stainless steel 316 protects the beverage a little bit better. We believe it does add to the flavor profile. You don't want that metallic yeah, yeah, yeah. type of taste into the kombucha. Yeah. So it's either glass or pharmaceutical grade stainless steel. Very cool. Blood orange. Blood orange plus it pairs very well with gin. It's ruby Ooh. fruit, blood orange, <laughs> Kalahari mineral salts. That's nice. I really like that one. Mm. Me too. I like the first one as well. And then we've got African red. Our two herbal ranges is medicinal <laughs> raw rooibos root mm -hmm. with ginger and lemon. Okay. Kalahari mineral salts. Still a green tea base though, so it's still 98% uh, kombucha green tea base. We just steep the rooibos for a little bit longer, over about 24 hours. Add that very viscous amount of rooibos to the kombucha Wow, I'd like though. that with gin more. <laughs> <laughs> yellow, yellow vibes. vibes. Yellow vibes is all things healthy and yellow. So it's turmeric. lemon, ginger and turmeric. Okay. So the turmeric actually forms onto the scoby strands. You'll see it forms a little bit more scoby strands inside oh, yes, the yeah. beverage. And, uh, Still natural or organic cold press in house added that to the 98% kombucha base. A little bit more different on the spectrum of kombucha size. Like it's a little bit That's different. That's actually quite nice. I like that too. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I want to just fill this as well. I think the mint. I want the mint. The mint was great. Don't forget to like and subscribe. The Banting Market is every first and every third Saturday of the month. Links to our Banting Market favorites will be in the description.